Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I do unboxings here, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, which is exactly what I have for you today. This is a new box to the channel. It's called Journey by Kivia and it comes in this gorgeous dark blue box with this amazing gold foil dragonfly. It's got this ribbon closure. It did come in a mailer, so it was pretty much protected, but some of the corners got a little bit smashed in the delivery, but I'm still very, very happy to have it and to be able to share it with you today. This is a quarterly subscription. It is $54.99 per season, or you can do an annual subscription that brings it down to just under $200. That includes the shipping, which I always think is kind of nice to have that factored in as well, even though I know they have to do a lot of calculations to kind of make everything even out for all of the places that they ship to. I also really like this because there's a lot of customization that is available to both seasonal and annual subscribers, and then annual subscribers get to do a little more customization and then I think there's usually like an extra item that is in each box. So I did go ahead and sign up for the annual subscription. I don't know why it took me so long to get this box but I like the idea of it being called Journey because they do sort of get inspired by a different destination and obviously with all of our travel plans being halted um, I am looking for any kind of box that gives me that sort of sense of travel and adventure and I also think that a lot of the items that I've seen come out of of the journey box are really lovely so I'm happy to have this I was excited to um do my customization and because it is well into the season my box came very very quickly I think in just a few days after I subscribed so I just untied the ribbon and then it's a really nice box you guys I do wish the corners hadn't come so munched uh, by getting delivered but it does look like it has like a nice magnetic closure so this is one of those great boxes to hold on to I keep the nicer boxes that I get from subscriptions just to hold on to all of my extras that I'm saving for giveaways um, and I'm sure that you could find use for them like in your closets and stuff to store items as well so this is a really lovely one I'm hoping maybe the next time that it arrives it's a little bit less bent on the corners but I'll probably still hold on to this one in the meantime so let's get into it again gorgeous box lovely presentation um, it's always like a fine line right I always appreciate when boxes just use a plain craft brown box because it's easily recyclable um, I do love a good beautiful uh, colorful branded box but then the ones that I really actually keep where I think it's kind of worth the money that they're investing and putting into it are the ones that are like nice magnetic closures look how pretty that that is inside it's just got their website again it's got that dragonfly I love this like dark royal blue color I think it's so lovely then they've got gold dragonflies on the tissue paper a little gold sticker I'm sure you saw that I'm just like opening it up it makes me open things up like more carefully it's like when you get a new phone it's like I always have to set aside like a whole hour to open up my phone because I want to do it so carefully and so delicately um, unlike Christmas morning sometimes you just kind of tear into everything right so this one is wow look again presentation you guys here is an envelope it's almost like a buckle and you can see this ribbon this piece of paper is almost like pearlized and it says that this journey box is inspired by Qingdao China so I do think it's kind of um, interesting that this box this season is inspired by China but I think it's kind of nice uh, I think they've been vilified quite a bit um, I'm not gonna get into any kind of politics or anything thing here but it is nice to see um, that culture still honored so let's see what we've got inside I didn't want to like break that seal man this is gorgeous you guys I feel like I'm being invited to a wedding like this is stunning so opening up this red ribbon again this is one of those moments where I wish that I had taken photos for Instagram ahead of time but look at this beautiful design in paper I'm not even sure how to open it up wow so nice I'm just gonna slide it out so it just like kind of slid out like this and then we've just got like a piece of paper so protecting everything and then this is the brochure that tells us all about it and I can share the box with hashtag China journey and they spell journey j-o-u-r-n-e-e -E. so you could definitely check that out they have their own jewelry line so this is going to tell us all about the different items Qingdao pronounced Qingdao in Mandarin is a port city tucked in China's eastern Shandong province its unique skyline features both dramatic skyscrapers and pristine beaches along the Yellow Sea. It is known for its clean air, delicious 
Tsingtao beer and being home to the largest bathing beach in the world. Qingdao is well known for its European architecture in the city center and it is a compilation of its traditional Chinese and European influence with an urban twist. When Kivia, the founder of Journey Box, chooses a city for her boxes, she always looks to the local ingredients and textiles for inspiration. In this box, there are elements of Qingdao everywhere, such as the traditional Chinese paper cutting featured on this invitation, how beautiful, the wave patterns used on our product packaging, and even the hops in the season's beauty item. With this abundance of natural beauty, its year-round schedule of international events and attractions, and a rich culture built around unique flavors and influences make China's Sailing City an ideal tourist destination to explore, well, not right now, Join me in experiencing the treasures of this modern and dynamic city, Journey Well. So I love that it was supposed to be like an invitation and that's totally how it felt. Here's this beautiful image of that beach that it was talking about and then we'll read all about the different items. I love that there's so much information. Um, it doesn't look like there, oh, there are retail prices and you guys know that I love having retail prices, especially in kind of a pricier subscription. So everything is really packed inside of here. Everything's like almost bursting at the seams. We'll see if we can get through it in a kind of quick clip. So this is the first item I am seeing. It definitely looks like an Asian inspired print and it looks like it is a set of cloth napkins. Let me see if I can get into it. Probably not going to take it out of the paper band here because I don't have a use right now for cloth napkins because I don't do a lot of entertaining even when we're not in self-quarantine. But look how pretty that is. It is a dark blue. I like the pattern. It is 100% organic cotton and it looks like we get two of them. Let me just flip to the page in the booklet that's going to tell us a little bit about this. This was not one of the choice items. It says this beautiful set of two organic cotton napkins are perfect with your next for your next intimate dinner. Print with a traditional navy Chinese scalloped fan pattern. These napkins measure 18 by 18, so you could even make a pillow out of them probably, and can be folded in a variety of ways. Replacing paper products with reusable ones saves money and is better for the environment. They're a perfect accent to any culinary journey that you share with your family and guests, and their organic cotton content guarantee that they are a sustainable and eco-friendly addition to any place setting. So I do like that element of Journey Box. They're always like fair trade, ethically sourced, so that's always a bonus. Now this is an item that is taking up a bunch of space and I think you guys will be proud of me. This was one of the customizable items and I could have chosen this blue one, which is what I got, or I could have chosen just the gray ombre, which you guys know I love me some black and gray. So I actually went with this beautiful, vibrant blue version. So this is an ombre scarf. It says this sophisticated ombre scarf is one of two customizable items this season, coming in both gray or blue ombre. This piece measures 68 inches by 24 and a half inches, so it's nice and big. It can be used as a shawl, wrap, or throw. Made by a company that highlights women in management, subscribers can feel good about this scarf's fair trade background and soft acrylic material. It is so soft. I love acrylic scarves because they are so soft. It does have fringe on the darker end. This piece is perfect for bundling up at the office, staying warm in a theater, or just lounging at home. So gorgeous piece. I think you can see the richness of that blue. There's the place where the color changes. Um, I'm not going to put it on because it's actually kind of warm in my house right now. Um, but what a lovely scarf. I don't actually have anything like this. I have a lot of black and gray so that's why I got a little more adventurous this time and went with the blue which still looks nice with black and gray. So I'm very happy to have this. It is so soft. I like want to cozy up with it and start reading a book since it is rainy outside. It just happens to be kind of warm here in my office because I have the door shut so try to block out some of that extra sound because I do live in an urban setting. So the next thing I'm seeing comes in this cute little baggie but then there's another baggie inside look how beautiful that packaging is so like i said kivia does have a their own jewelry line so i'm sure that's one of the things that's featured in every journey box so let me see if i can get into this one thing is like poking through so this I think is the extra item so that you would get if you were an annual subscriber. So I don't know that it's actually going to be in this. So this is the three pair earring set. Our exclusive annual item this season is inspired by China's fashion forward accessory scene. This stunning set of three earrings has a set perfect for any occasion. Customizable in sterling silver or 18 gold, 18 karat gold plating. The set a zirconia and a statement hammered hoop. This set is also made in Johnny's factory mentioned on page seven. So 
You could get silver or you could get gold. And if you have watched my unboxings for a while, you know that I do prefer gold. I wear both, but let me show these to you. I like the hammered hoops a lot. They're kind of oval. And then I don't wear a lot of studs, but these are pretty cute studs. So you can just see the top layer is just like three little stones in a row and then the middle one is just like a little half circle in gold with a little stone in the middle. So this would be really great if you actually had multiple holes in your ear as a little accent, but I do like these hammered gold hoops on the bottom because I don't actually have any in that size or shape. So very excited to get these and those were just like a bonus thing for signing up for the year which makes you save money as it is. So I'm happy to have those. I'm not sure they'll actually hold on to them. I do think it is a nice gift set. So be on the lookout. I might include that in the giveaway coming up. The next thing I'm pulling out is Hefty. I think I know what it is. I think this was another customizable item. Let's put some tissue away in my, my filming space right now, you guys, because I do try to do a few boxes at a time is a mess. So now we've got some bubble wrap inside, and of course I'm sure I've put my scissors somewhere where I can't find them. Let's see if I can get into this guy. Sometimes the tape just pulls off, and sometimes you really have to like wedge those scissors in there to figure things out. So let's see if I can do that. And then of course, if it's something in bubble wrap, then I'm always like nervous that I'm gonna like drop it or scratch it or whatever. But here it is. I do appreciate that they've wrapped everything up. So this is funny because it almost looks moldy to me, but I think it's on purpose. So this is by Kivia. It is the Manoi and Hop Salt Scrub or Manoi. I don't know how you say it, but there you go. And it comes in this nice canister. I like these kinds um, instead of screw tops just because they are kind of nice reusable jars. But I'm going to show you this scrub. Now, I don't use a lot of scrubs, but to me, doesn't that look like little spots of mold? But let's read about it and double check and see if that's like normal um, because there is a lot of moisture in there. I have a feeling I don't know it's like it's making me a little bit nervous so hopefully they address that in the description let's see so that was like one of the first items that I saw in the pamphlet let's see if I can get to it nope they definitely in the picture there's like those little spots as well so I feel a little more at ease now our wonderful Manoi and hops salt scrub is inspired by Qingdao's beer culture with an homage to traditional pollen to a traditional Polynesian ingredient so that's why I feel like it's Manoi this dynamic ingredient duo is sure to level up any relaxation routine with both main ingredients offering different elements designed to help our subscribers unwind the hops influence comes from the city being under German control from 1898 to 1914. Qingdao's passion for beer is celebrated every year during its annual international beer festival, widely known as Asia's Oktoberfest. Hop sedative properties make it a perfect ingredient for skincare, calming inflammation, and soothing irritated pores. We thought Qingdao's love for hops made it a perfect ingredient for our scrub, especially combined with manoi oil. Manoi oil is infused perfume oil made from soaking the petals of beautiful yellow and white Tahitian gardenias in coconut oil. How cool. So it's like a combo of floral and then the coconut. The Maori people native to Polynesia have used Manoi for more than 2,000 years for everything from traditional ceremonies to hair and skin treatments and soothing the sensitive skin of newborns. Its sustainable and natural ingredients are known for their therapeutic and protective properties. Combined with a coarse scrubbing salt and some hops in our scrub, this product is a wonderful addition to any beauty routine. So my husband is a beer lover. He doesn't really use scrubs, but I feel like just knowing that there's hops in it and it's kind of beer related might make him more interested in giving it a try and giving his skin some love. So I might have to put that in the shower with a little explanation. And I think that's kind of a cool thing. And I am very glad again, like I said, to see like the little, little spots that are in the picture as well. Cause doesn't that like look, it looks so creepy, but I think it's fine. All right, let's keep going. Got so much stuff in this box, you guys. I think you definitely get your value in here, especially if you're an annual subscriber. I love all of their branded packaging. And I think that part of the value comes from the fact that they do a lot of their own in-house items and they're not having to go to different vendors. Look how pretty this box is, right? So even if you were going to re-gift any items, I would not feel bad about giving someone this item in this box. So this is another jewelry item, I believe. These are stunning. I love these. So this is a necklace set and not just one, not just two, but you get 
five necklaces and you could choose in gold or silver and I did get the gold and of course you could layer them however you want or wear them individually and then it's kind of cute they've got every day is the top one with the little little stone girls night with the kind of curved bar date night with the sparkly pendant mix and layer where it's just a chain where it's just got a little bit of a bigger piece along the way and then that final one with that pretty blue stoned is called weekend and it's just you can see it's got like a little row of stones along the bottom but that blue stone i think is really pretty it's not the kind of jewelry i would pick out for myself but i think it would layer amazingly so let me try to find the description for that I'll have to show it to you guys on Instagram too so you can actually admire it. In its beautiful gifting and storage box, this breathtaking set of five unique necklaces is the perfect gift for a friend or yourself. As one of our three customizable items in the Qingdao box and four for annual subscribers, it comes in sterling silver or 18 karat gold plate. Each necklace features a four inch extender and has a chain measuring between 16 and 22 inches. So, so, so beautiful. This set, like many of our jewelry items, is made by one of our most trusted factories in China. The company run by one of Kedia's most trusted partners named Johnny, that's what they were referencing before, provides insurance and medical care to its employees, and they even adhere to a local union standard concerning overtime hours and annual leave. So that's the kind of thing that you want to hear about. That's the reason to support a subscription box that really believes in giving of uh fair wages to their employees. Now I did just kind of pull aside, I will probably put all of those necklaces on one of these kind of clasps, which are really fun. You can see you can actually layer your necklaces and then they don't get so tangled um, if you try to put them on individually. And this is just kind of a magnetic slide, so you just take that off. You can put all of the necklaces on. I have some that are for two, three, four, and one even for five. So I might give that a shot for those necklaces. I think those are stunning and beautiful and while I could give them away, I kind of want to hold on to them for myself. So just a couple more items, you guys. I realize that I'm not giving you the retail values, but if we have time, I will go through those at the very, very end. So another bubble wrap item. So this is, I think was another customizable item. It's always a little tricky to find the opening for these packages. And this still has their branding on the very top. So super cool. Let's open this up. More bubble wrap, I can feel. And so you could choose this, it's like a canister, it's like a jar. You could choose this in a more like natural looking ceramic style or this like marble one, which I like. Now I actually thought it had a lid, but I think this is really, really pretty. This like marble with this gold edging and then inside you can kind of see it's like this pretty bluey gray, but you could do so many things with this. Like I think it'd be really great for makeup brushes or pens or pencils. You could probably even find a use for it in your kitchen or you could even put probably like little a little bouquet of flowers. So let's see what it says about that. Let me see if I can find this fairly quickly. It does actually have a page in here as well talking about that paper cutting invitation. So customizable ceramic vase or marble jar. So there is that other ceramic vase that you could have gotten and that one did actually have a lid. I thought the gold on this one was a lid. I'm just gonna read about this one. This was a customizable item, the third item that everyone could choose. This beautiful multi-use ceramic jar measures just under five inches tall and just over three inches wide. The top of the marble jar measures just over two and a half inches wide, making it the perfect size for a countertop mantle or desk. It features a white marble pattern with a gold accent trim. In the recycled paper packaging, both of these items act as environmentally friendly, reusable containers that can be used to store dry goods as a vase, sweet treats, writing utensils, and any other goodies you can think of. So. While I do like that like color, it was just a little more like ethnic and didn't really match my decor as much as this kind of more like elegant. They do actually have you fill out a style profile and you say what you are. And I think I said like sophisticated and classy. There was other like ones that were like delicated, de delicated, delicate and minimalist. Now this is the final thing you guys. I'm trying to get through it pretty quickly. And let's see what it is. This is just some stationery. So you can see there's this beautiful envelope as well as some note cards. So I will show these guys to you later on in my Instagram because it looks like they are all sealed, but maybe I can find a picture for you right here in this pamphlet. 
I do try to keep everything under 20 minutes, you guys. So here is the stationary set, and I'll show these to you over on Instagram. Let me know what you guys think about this box. I think it is a fantastic value. I really like the curation. I like the ideas behind it and what they stand for. And if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up, and hopefully I'll see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.